Um, so just so I have an idea, uh, who here is familiar with Red X? Okay, that's quite. A few. Okay, so um, my name is Max, and I have uh, I'm still working on this library, um, but uh, it's still in a pretty usable state. And so, with uh, Red X, we can define um, uh, formal grammars, right? And so, Red X has a few built-in types. Okay, so you give me your language, and then I take that language, and I can put um, the terms in that into one-to-one -one correspondence with the natural numbers, right? And uh, so you can use uh, Redix built-in types, like uh, natural, and I can generate, you know, as many as you want. Mm, whatever. So there's some natural numbers. Uh, it's going to take a while to get them all, though. Um, but Red X also supports, also supports some other built-in data types. Ah, oh, come on. So if we have some sort of base type constructor in our language, um, we can say we want natural numbers, or we want um, booleans, um, or strings. And now, uh, oh God, it's too tiny. Uh. And I can enumerate those 42. And so that's nice, but I'm sure you wanted to find your own language. And so uh, you can do that too. If um, I have, say, a simple lambda calculus, which will have applications, and lambda expression, and variables, for some notion of variable. Ah. Um, and I can enumerate those too. But uh, as you can see, we're not quite sure what variables you really want. Uh, so you're going to end up with a lot of pretty dumb names repeated over and over again. So for this talk, um, I can manually say that it's only these three variables that will get used. Um, and so. You can see that Reddit, that the enumerator can pair these up, and it can use and can recursively um, enumerate. Um, and that's fine, but you know we're all not we're not all programming language nerds, so we can also define just any tree structure. And so I have say nodes that have some sort of value and uh, subtrees and say leaf <sighs> oh whoops wrong one da 
Oh, whoops. I didn't say what a value was. And so the nice thing about this enumerator is it not just it doesn't just only it doesn't just give them to you in order, but it's pretty good. So I can give you the uh, whatever that number is term, or the whatever that number is term. <laughs> uh, and it's pretty dang fast. Uh, and I, I messed around with exponentials, but I got to the point where it took longer to calculate the exponent than it did to actually enumerate the term. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you, but, and so this is nice, and um, this is probably pretty similar to what your um, language is going to use uh, if you define a grammar, but. Um, the nice thing about Red X is we can define reduction relations and typing relations, and those have a bit more complicated patterns. Um, so as an example, um, say you were you wanted uh, something you might notice about these uh, expressions. Ah. Oh, these lambda terms is uh, most of them are pretty lame. All their variables are out of scope, and uh, oh, well, I took all the variable names out, so there's only using three variables. But um, uh, so this isn't really that useful in its current state. Um, but you can use the Redix pattern language to express certain constraints on your data, and so here is something that you would probably use as a precondition um, on some sort of meta function, and so. Um, now I'm saying that, like, or yeah, so a variable is in scope if I have it inside some environment. Ugh. And so I'm going to recursively define environment as pairs of uh, variables with expressions. Um, I guess this is a call by need. <laughs> um, and now I can uh, say that this variable, that uh, this variable is in scope if it's the first variable in the um, environment. You would obviously use this with other features. But um, so the eventual goal of this is um, to give you nice, complicated ones that you can use as your inputs. But so far, this is what we got. <laughs> so I can enumerate in scope ones. And you can see that um, I'm matching up. I have this variable, and it's correctly here. Not too hard. Um, but, you know, this sort of lambda calculus, nobody really likes currying unless they use Haskell. And uh, so we really want, you know, better expressions. That's a bad name. I'll just call them E2. Uh, and so Red X language supports um, repeat patterns. And so I'm going to say, despite what they'll tell you, functions can have more than one variable. Ah. Um. Hmm? <laughs> um, and I'll enumerate that for you, too. Uh. It's a bit hard to see, but, and actually these terms are probably even more out of scope than before. Um, but now I have the problem where I have arity mismatches, right? And so I want to generate um, good applications. So I'm going to want to have a um, lambda term with a certain number of variables. Oh, whoops. Um, and match that up with the correct number of variables to apply. Oh, and I called these E2. Ah. Oh. Bah. And now I can enumerate for you the good apps. And those get quite large. 
Uh, what? I know. Well, you have to tell me. <laughs> I can't decide that for you. Um, but maybe you don't like good programs. So, <laughs> ooh. Oh wait, actually, this one doesn't work. Never mind. But I could give you out of scope variables. <laughs> Don't, oh no. Ah. It's a bad example. But um, say I'm doing substitution function, and um, we want to write a good substitution function, so we don't want to substitute through a lambda when, we're, when we use the same variable that's in the lambda. So I'm going to say, ah. Um, that I want to have one variable here and then in the lambda have a different variable being used in the call. And I can enumerate that too. Bah. And you'll see this one right here will have a different variable from here. And if I do this again, make this any variable you haven't talked about, with a very long name. Ah. And you get all these in there. Um, so you can use this right now in the Redis generator. It's, uh, it's not as mature as the random generator, but random generator doesn't support repeats. So take that up with Burke. And um, we hope to use this soon to, um, to generate well-typed terms for any typing relation you get. But just don't give us a side condition because uh, I can't solve the halting problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just give me an oracle. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So, is there any questions?